was just solid neon as far as you could see both directions. The neat motels. Crocodile Lyle's spirit lives on the mother road. Amarillo Boulevard was the sparkle of Route 66, and another time, the party began and ended here. Oh, I remember back in the day when we used to come down here on the weekends, and shopping and, and going out to eat, and it was just, it, it's hard to explain uh, the nostalgic feel that, that I get when I drive down Amarillo Boulevard, which was Northeast 8th back then. The money was good in the 50s, uh, right after the war, our economy was fantastic. And everybody had money to spend and everybody had a job. Uh, it's, you know, young and old alike, it, it, was, just, it was just a magic time. Nice car. Get your root kicks on Route 66. I think back to that. People, it's in mind. It's such a long strip. Route 66 is what this country's about. We're about cars. Get your kicks on Route 66. It's hard to imagine those days long ago when Route 66 bore the east-west traffic alone. But remnants remain, and the past hasn't completely disappeared. The Blue Angels used to stay here, right? Uh, the Texas Playboys used to stay here. Uh, lots and lots of everybody that traveled on Route 66 stayed here back in the 60s. Lyle has a shop on 6th where he displays his art and his love for the Mother Road. The former Marine likes meeting the Route 66 tourists. And I just got my driver license this year and this is why we want to do a road trip and so we had to do the Mother Road. Unfortunately, a lot of our people that live in America don't get it. The Europeans get it, the Australians get it. The Japanese and the Chinese are getting it. It's, it's uh, you know, but it's, a, it's an important part of American history. That's the whole thing. The people that ride Harley say, if I have to explain, you won't understand. And that's kind of the way Route 66 is. You have to experience it. You have to get out there and meet the people that make their lives on the road. Larry Lemons, Pro News 7.